Hi, this is Fiona from MDOR, and let me introduce my partner Jido from the Prime Book. So we have cooperate for a new model, a Prime model. This yeah. is really cool. Hi. Yeah. Hi. Hi. So please introduce yourself. Sure. Uh, so I'm Chitranshu, commonly called as Chitu, and I am the founder of this company. What we have done is we have built an Android-based operating system with complete desktop experience. This is a new kind of a laptop for education, especially for all the developing nation. Let me quickly give you a brief about the education market. Globally, there are 1.5 billion students, and out of these 1.5 billion students, 750 million students have not even seen a PC. They don't have a laptop. They don't have a laptop. And、They、if have... you're a student without a laptop, then what are you doing? Exactly. It's very hard to exactly. work. Exactly. And exactly. And especially after COVID, you know, this market has really accelerated because every student now wants a laptop, and you cannot imagine a student without internet connectivity. So, so what is the CPU here? It's an ARM, right? Yes, it's an ARM-based CPU. Which one? MT eight seven eight eight. So it's a good MediaTek. Exactly. Which has built-in. 4G connectivity. The reason we chose this CPU was specially for developing nations and country like India. Wi-Fi penetration is really low. There's around 5% Wi-Fi penetration in Indian homes. But 4G is everywhere. Exactly. And it's and very cheap. Exactly. Everybody has 4G. Exactly. So、yeah. data has become so cheap in all these developing nations that having an internet connectivity through this 4G SIM slot is a must-have. So it's like Reliance or these guys, right? They provide the good service. Exactly, exactly.、And、maybe you partner with them. Yes, we are trying. Reliance trying,、right? and Airtel. Yes. You already have some meetings. Yes, yes. With Airtel, we are trying. All right. Yeah. Or,、uh, but there's not only India. There's many other countries. Exactly. So you want to do one platform for everybody. Exactly. So, In Africa. Yes. So our target、uh, countries with this is starting with India, Africa market, South America market, Vietnam, Indonesia. So. Our theory is the reason we build this laptop on ARM. Our theory is that for a student, all the education is Android first, and a better form factor is a laptop. So we provided the best of both worlds for a student: benefits of Android app ecosystem and productivity of a laptop. Now、so, you, see, uh, you, you have uh, uh, like the desktop style,、exactly. but you can also have a. Potentially a full desktop browser. Yeah, this has a this has a complete desktop browser. Let me connect it to the internet. Is this Chrome. Yeah, this is our own browser, Prime browser. So this operating system is Prime OS, and this is our own browser. And if you go, oh, sorry, yeah, screen, yeah,、uh, then it you get the full experience like Chrome for desktop. Exactly. You don't have to change the desktop settings. All right. Every website it opens, it opens in a desktop version, not the mobile version. So these kind of minute changes we have done in the browser or in the OS to provide the user a complete desktop experience. Let me quickly show you. So for a desktop experience, the must-have is the multi-window framework. So any application that you open opens in a multi-window form factor, so that the end user. Is able to do multitasking on an Android machine. Nice. You can use all the Office applications. Can you you can use YouTube. And even Microsoft provide all the Office for free, no? Exactly. So there's no need to pay for Office subscription. Yes. Yes. And、uh, you get, of course, all the Google apps. Yes. You get Google, all the Google do- apps. Google you get Docs. Doc sheets, slides, everything you get in this. And potentially, you get all the. Ten million Android apps. Exactly. All of them. All of them. All of them. So the, this is the kind of、uh, functionality we have added in our operating system, so that you are able to use all existing smartphone apps in a desktop experience. So let me quickly show you. And if you want, you connect a USB mouse. Yes. So you have full size USB. Yes. Two USB ports, one mini HDMI, DC in. We are also coming up with Type C. Type C. Yes. Audio and, jack and micro SD. micro SD and SIM card slot. Nice. Yeah. Battery will be okay. Yeah, battery is amazing. So what we have launched in India right now, which is the Prime Book hardware,、uh, gives battery up to eight hours. So actually, it is a optimization of price and performance. 
so you keeping the os as the base you just can't increase everything yeah. so our core thought was around optimizing price and performance uh, one thing I, I was filming about 15 years ago yeah uh, was a one laptop a child yes. platform yes and they were targeting 100 dollar laptop for the Students. developing world yes. they had a special display right to to have longer battery life right did you see any uh, advancements recently right. in uh, right. Right. Can you choose a display that doesn't use too much power? Yes, yes. Specifically, uh, so power is one thing, right? Now, since as we are talking 10 years before, now power is not the problem. The problem is getting right performance. So with display, if you can see this display, this is an IPS display. Nice. And in a laptop, if you see, the viewing angles are amazing. And what is the resolution? Uh, this is HD. So 720? 720p. Yay. Which is a perfect for this size. What is exactly. the size? This is 11.6 inches. Nice. Yeah. Um, so how long have you been working on this project? So on the OS, we have been working since 2018. Uh, we are pretty famous uh, globally. Uh, Prime OS has been downloaded 3 million times in 140 countries. Now we have recently launched this complete laptop solution for students. Why did people download this? Uh, so there's a version of Prime OS which is Prime OS x86. So it's run on the Intel stuff. It can, it can, but it does not give the best compatibility. And what was the uh, so Android? It's Android, Android x86. Okay. So Prime OS, uh, there's one version, but it does not give a hundred percent compatibility. Android is really for ARM. Say for ARM. ARM. Yeah, yeah. It's optimized for ARM. Exactly. ARM architecture. Exactly, exactly. I mean, you can run it on Intel, but that does not is, uh, true. It's a true. different thing. True, true. So that was just a free version for us to test our user base. And you still get three million downloads. Exactly. That's the point. In 140 countries, all organic. So these three million downloads, not driven by marketing. They were all organic downloads. There's one question people Please. always ask is uh, when you go in here. Yeah. And you click. Uh, and you go down down here. Yeah. Are you going to update? Yes. So what's the version of, and everything? This is right now based on Android 11. And we are soon upgrading to Android 13. Uh, this will come in July this year. Because Android is fully open source. Exactly. So you can just take it. Right, right. And MediaTek has good hardware support. Yeah, MediaTek, Mdoor, they provide good kernel and hardware support. Uh, but my question is also... Um, you really have to make your own browser for having a desktop experience because Google don't provide for Android. Right, right? right. They only provide the mobile browser. Exactly. And you have to go tick mark, uh, you know, go to desktop website. You do that yeah, too in the so settings side. Too much work. Yeah. This On top of it, desktop. yeah. This is the default desktop. On top of it, this Prime OS, since it is targeted to students, this Prime Book, it also comes with MDM. Mobile device management, that is parental controls. Nice. That is what is another reason we introduced our own browser. Because now parents or institute can remotely manage and monitor the devices used by students. So cool. from their smartphone, they just go uh, whitelist the websites that they want the students to use. And uh, it depends on the price and configuration stuff. Right. But Mdor is really good at making nice keyboards. Yes, yes. So yeah, this Mdor, is good. Yeah, amazing. The, the best part of the if, if this keyboard is, if you look at it, it is end to end. So there is no blank space that has been left, you know, to provide the user a yeah. better experience on the keyboard. So nice big keys, full size. Exactly. And you, if you see chiclet. Yeah. And if you see, we have also added customized Android button. Instead of ESC that you find on Windows, you find a back similar to Android. And uh, screenshot button, zoom in, zoom out. I'll quickly show you how that works. So for example, this here, let me see if it supports. So here, I just, oh, zoom. just like Android. So, our, our main agenda of working on it is how we build features to give a desktop experience on Android ecosystem. So that is what we work. So zoom in, zoom out. It's something uh, Google should have done 10 years ago. They're, they, they're waiting. 
maybe. But, uh, in the future, will be more and more, hopefully, desktop optimized Android. Android. Yes, yes, yes. Because uh, what we want to have is. 4K, I want to have a 4K 60 video editor. Exactly, exactly. Right now, I guess I would have to download an Android app. Right. And I don't even know if they have as good as they have on the M M1 MacBook. Right. Because there's a whole like, ecosystem happening with the optimized uh, ARM desktop experience. True, true. Which I hope is coming now. Maybe yes, you will push yes. it. Yeah, so that's what we are driven. Uh, since the app ecosystem of Android is so huge, we wanted to add a productivity layer to it. The Android initially is only being used right now, if you see, for consuming content. Smartphone, you consume content. Tablet, you consume content. TV, you consume content. But now we are driving this ecosystem to create something. That is a laptop. So students editing, sound editing, video editing, Photoshop, uh, you know, doing their assignments homework, classroom projects. So all this you can do on a laptop, not on a tablet. One thing I wonder is because, um, let's say in India, there's maybe one billion Android phones. Yeah. And I wonder how many of them have Type-C display output. Uh, Type-C display output, uh, uh, I'm assuming now everyone is having. So It's starting on yes, the yes, smartphones? Yes, yes, yes. So it's not only on uh, Samsung and Huawei, yeah, may, there's on, some other brands yeah, right now, starting to do yeah. that? Um, I don't, I can't con uh, comment much about the display output. Type C charging everyone has. Yeah, but uh, the display output is a question because if you have that on the phone, right? Maybe you partner with the smartphone company, right? That when they output to a display, right? There's a Prime OS. OS, yes. Similar to Dex. Yeah. Similar to so Dex. Did you work on that that idea? We are, we are. Uh, so, if I tell you about our company's journey, this is how we started. Came back to this. So we they, at that point of time, Type C in 2018, Type C display output was not there, right? So we started with that thought only, that uh, we will give users a dumb shell, and users can connect their smartphone uh, as a CPU, right? Yeah. And this comes. But maybe there's a partnership. I don't know if it's Mdor. Mdor. I don't know if Mdor does smartphone. Do you do smartphone? No, we, no. we don't do smartphone. smartphone. But we have the fo we are focused on the laptop and two in one and the gaming book and the, the tablet. Tablet. Yes. So so uh, for example, maybe there is another partner that has smartphone. Right. But that could have compatible uh, right, right. experience. Definitely. Definitely. So you do laptop and smartphone. Smartphones. Yes. Solutions yes. and maybe that's the way going forward. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. And potentially, even the Prime Book could have an input. Exactly. And become just a display for your phone. Exactly. That's what I was telling you. This is how we actually started. In 2018, we wanted Prime Book to be a dumb shell only. And when you connect to a smartphone, that smartphone acts like a CPU. But what we learned is there was no, <coughs> not much hardware ecosystem around it. So we instant went on to developing a complete solution. One more additional thing with this. This has uh, voice over LTE also. So students can also make calls, the normal uh, LTE calls. Is it, uh, uh, is there, if you have a smartphone in India, is it easy to get an extra SIM for laptop? Yeah. Or do you just buy another one? Is it possible to maybe the, the, the SIM provider makes a special deal if it's only for your second device. Right. So maybe you get a second SIM for that's maybe a, that, cheaper. Yeah, yeah, that's a great option. We haven't explored this yet. Yeah, yeah we are on this journey, but uh, uh, we are talking with uh, data providers, the SIM providers, and hopefully we are bundling, we will be able maybe to bundle. E yeah, eSIM can also be there. It's supported. Yeah. So maybe it's actually could be like an eSIM. Right, right. So if you have your phone, yeah. you click somewhere in a contract, right. and you pay, I don't know how much uh, rupees, yeah. a little bit more, Yeah. And boom, so it's active on your laptop also. Yeah, could be could be a possibility, definitely, yeah. Cool, all right. right. So do you have a lot of partners already talking to you? Yes, yes, yes. So there are two parts of the business that we do. Uh, in India, uh, we directly sell the uh, laptops, uh, the complete prime book to schools, college, coaching centers, uh, trying to uh, provide it to government also. And outside India, we are open to partnership by licensing prime OS. 
similar to a Dell Windows kind of a relationship. So any brand outside India wants to get into this category of Android laptop can license our OS. Maybe it's a good price. It's less than Microsoft? Yes, yes, yes. We're not trying to be Microsoft license price. No, no, no. no. That, that's that, not the idea. And what uh, they get is the support, because maybe you're going to update. Yes, so uh, Prime OS can be updated by OTA, the cloud update, similar to how your smartphone and tablet does. Nice. Yeah. Cool. So, so our actually agenda right now coming to this exhibition and partnering with Amdor is, uh, so that a lot of brands can see this new category of laptop. And take up this new category, and uh, you know launch their own android laptop in their own country so that's what that's our agenda to come to this exhibition maybe mdor even works with india to assemble in india assembling or they uh, only do it in china no no it's, it's assembling we have our own partners in india so assembling ecosystem is really amazing in india for this pro pro for, can be done yes yes we already do that so then uh, if that's a requirement you have it ready exactly All exactly right. Cool. And uh, maybe in the future will be different designs. Yes, yes. So we are coming up with two-in-one. So when you connect it, it's a desktop experience. When you remove it, it's a tablet. Nice. Uh, so we are coming up with two-in-one. Uh, we are also coming up with a 14.1 inch model and a yoga book. All right. Yeah. Cool. And do you have a website? People yeah, yeah. can actually Please. order it? Or yes, not? yes, yes. They can uh, go to www.primebook.in. P R I M E B W O K dot I N, and uh, right now it is available on Flipkart in India, and uh, you can direct Good price. Yes. Hopefully, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. So uh, approximately the price on Flipkart in India is around uh, one sixty, one seventy dollars. All right. Yeah, in India. But if there's some uh, uh, education department or somebody comes and makes a big order, that, that that's that's always there. You know, with the volumes. We are also able to support better prices. Mdoor is also able to support better prices. So the whole ecosystem benefits with volumes. So the price can be lowered down really well.